This one begins with a classic misplaced modifier. The prompt begins digging in sediments in northern China, evidence has been gathered, etc. Digging in sediments is the modifier and it has to directly touch the, the folks who have been doing the digging. Now obviously the evidence hasn't been digging, the scientists have been digging. So we need the main clause to begin not with the word evidence, but with the word scientists. So A and B begin with evidence, they're out right away, and C, D, and E begin with scientists. So right away we're down to three answer choices. Now there are a few things that I'll point out about these remaining answer choices. First of all, notice that all five answer choices we see this flip-flopping between emerge and emergence. Emerge, emergence, emergence. So we're going back and forth between emerge, a verb form, and emergence, a noun form. Whenever you see this pattern, a word flipping back and forth between noun form and verb form, it's a very good chance, it's not 100% true, but it's a very good chance that the correct answer will be in verb form. Now, why is this? The GMAT favors direct writing, direct active writing. And of course, nouns, nouns are kind of static. Verbs are the essence of action. And so putting something in a verb form tends to make it much more active. And as a general rule, it often is easier to express thoughts much more concisely when the word is in a verb form instead of a noun form. So we see that it's in a verb form in C, so that certainly gives us a good feeling about C. We see that it's in a noun form in D and E, so at least we're suspicious about D and E. And let's look and see if we can find any other mistakes in D and E. Well, first of all, in E we have which, and a clause beginning with which should be set off with commas, and we don't have a comma here, so that's a problem. And also the way that it ends, than that previously thought. That's a very awkward ending, so we can just nuke E. D has emergence than that which was previously thought. This is an excessively wordy phrase here in D, so that's out. And C, notice, is much clearer, much earlier than previously thought. Perfectly clear, very concise. So C is free of grammatical error, it is direct, it is sleek, it is powerful and active, and it is by far the best answer choice.